sitting here with Mr. Pat Moore on this beautiful snowy evening up at Baldface Lodge. Contest is over. Mm -hmm. How you dropped in first. Tell me your feeling at the top. Your first run, clean course. Haven't seen anyone go. You got a mile of obstacles below you. Woo! Yeah. You Helicopters oh. flying <laughs> and flags in the air and someone telling you to drop. Yeah. Uh, I was <clears throat> I was definitely nervous up on the top. One with all the hectic, you know, the helicopter and all that, and then two also not riding that course ever before. Um, that being said, I'm so happy that I went first because uh, I got the best turns. <laughs> That's right. So, well, you rode well. You uh, ended up eighth, which means you're coming back next mm -hmm. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy to make the top eight and, and be coming back. Um, I was definitely bummed uh, I didn't do the run full that I wanted to do, um, but that's just uh, just how she goes. We all have a lot of respect for Travis. This contest he's put together is pretty cool. I know he works super hard on it. And, um, it's really good for snowboarding. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I try and give Travis as much credit as I can every opportunity I get but really like my words don't mean anything compared to what he's actually done for snowboarding and for snowboarders like uh, you know he's taken his position as a, a leader and, and kind of like as the limelight for uh, for a lot of us as far as like filming pros go and uh, not only does he share that with everybody but he also produces you know, great videos and contests like this that star other riders. So he really gives back to the community. He gives back uh, to the sport. It's really yeah. like, you know, snowboarding's true spirit. Yeah, definitely. And like, he is the gnarliest snowboarder in the world. <laughs> Hands down, for sure. I'm glad you made it out next year. I mean, yeah. you're taking turns. Heck yeah. Cool, buddy. Pat Moore, everybody. Woo!